listen man in 2k it's always gonna be that one broken archetype that one cheesy lineup that is pretty much a bailout and unstoppable example before i reveal anything let's just take a look at some examples L look at it look at the cheese bro is that not a bailout build or not bro let me know you tell me in the comment section bro is this open or is it contested you let me know wait ah i know what y'all thinking i know what y'all gonna say in the comment section your player your player is a point guard you're not tall you got short arms okay what about when it's against a lockdown let's take a look example number two green it's not like it's not green and his shot just dropping look clearly a contest bro don't matter what you say it's a contest bro now this next one i can give him this one technically it's still contested but they didn't give me a contest but Yo did move to the side and pull it, but at the same time, what I'm trying to explain is it's always a broken build in every 2K. But y'all like every 2K. Well, show me. Bet. All right, bet. NBA 2K16. Look at the look how many people he shot over. Green. <laughs> That's not enough. NBA 2K17. Green. <laughs> is that not enough? Don't make me go to the most dumbest game ever. NBA 2K18, green. <laughs> hey, yo. Had a sauce on a bitch. Had a sauce on a bitch. Made a fall from the drip. Now she all on my dick. Had a sauce on a bitch. Had a sauce on a bitch. Y'all already know what's good with the intro. If y'all looking for these 2K accounts, high overalls, max badges without being scammed, hit up Sports TMB on Twitter. After you hit up Sports TMB, if you do go through with any deals, that's when you hit me up. Let me know if you actually got your account successful, you feel me? Or if you want me to speed the process up and make sports respond to you faster, you tell him Lamont to sent you in his DMs. All links in the description. You're sure that you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. What's good? It's your Bullet Monster with another video. So as you guys can see today, I'm going to introduce you guys to the new cheese of 2K, bro. Facts is facts. The new wave is glass cleaner, stretch, and stretch. That is the new wave of lineups, bro, even though that's a sharp right there. But the new wave and the new cheese that goes on in 2K now is the new bailout builds in lineup. It's glass cleaner, stretch, and stretch. And the fact that people have the confidence to pull up with three centers is just like... You know it's a you know it's a clear manipulation. You feel me? That's what I'm trying to say. It's a clear broken thing that needs to be patched, bro. We need zigzag completely patched or where they're able to be ripped. Look, stretch green. Of course, of course. I got to stretch on my team. Of course, I say the same thing when my stretch make shots. That's contested. Let me give you an example. Hold up, I'm still get my little sauce. My stretch wide though. My stretch wide, that's no contest. Those shots are, that's the difference between an open shot and a, you feel me? But them shots in the beginning of the video I was showing y'all, super contested. You can't tell me it's not. But, first off, everybody is in this video. Shout out to all the players in this video. This ain't no diss or shots at players who run this lineup. Even though, yeah, if you're using this lineup, you definitely know that you need these this this setup in order to try to beat a team right at the end of the day and that's that's just facts but you can never get mad at the players like in a fighting game if somebody's spamming the same move over and over you can't get mad at the player you got to get mad at the developers for allowing it to be in a game you get what i'm saying if somebody is cheesing the game i will never get mad at the players for doing it it's not y'all fault y'all are smart enough to just say forget it I'm just going adjust to what what is cheesy, what I can manipulate, and I'ma just do it. Basically, basically like a, a KD thing. You can't beat them, join them. So these stretch bigs who just join in with glass cleaners, they were once guards. They can't dribble. They can't. You feel me? They can't win with a regular lineup of like point guard, whatever how it's supposed to be. You know how it's supposed to be. Like there's no reason why people should be going side to side zigzagging. So. They go with the bailout of 
they go with the bailout of oh snap my bad i'm dropping stuff hey yo if he hit that shot i was about to say bro but anyway they go with the bailout of being a stretch and up here sharp so what i'm trying to say in this video bro if you had to if i had to choose a build in the game that is the easiest and the cheesiest which i tell y'all every year it's the stretch big for sure because you know stretch bigs have height and they can shoot over people and of course the pure sharp becoming the number two spot but look, look at this gameplay though like i said i'm gonna actually show y'all me playing against the lineup i'm not just going to talk about it and y'all just look at some of the shots and just you feel me see how it goes so you see the score seven and eight that's technically low-key open but he missed of course he missed the open i didn't contest right there that's green i did try to i stepped up but what i'm trying to show y'all is like like i'm not making excuses when it comes to losing to this archetype or winning whatever it is i'm just making it known that if 2k fixed the issue certain players wouldn't get w's bro like it's a bailout lineup you feel me i'm just showing what's broken bro it's just like i don't know bro i don't know but like i said i tried to contest the shot but he didn't let me contest so he hit the green you know that's green that's wide open that's wide open 14 to 10 though even through like that's what i would really want to say if we ever lose this is what it takes though is what i'm saying it takes niggas to try to do these abnormal three center lineups to have it as a close game you get what i'm saying like again in a fighting game you think of a fighting game if they have a power okay if a fire power is better than ice fire y'all just see ice or fire just destroying every power everybody gonna switch and make that power and dominate the game that's how it goes so in 2k the stretch is just the easiest thing you can literally zigzag side to side and just pull look where they shooting from look it's bailouts bruh so now let's just get to the topic of zigzagging bruh that's really the main thing i really want to talk about in this video i really believe zigzag need to be out of the game but i'm saying like there's no way possible that why is it that a person who can dribble the ball a person with playmaking in their archetype 90 ball control can get ripped by somebody spamming square but a person with no ball control can get it any archetype can just get the ball and go side to side literally y'all see me ending the game as a dagger i told y'all even if i play the lineup it's not like i care if i win or lose it's just gonna be it's just that those players wouldn't have been a close game if they didn't have three centers or that type of lineup where it's sharp sharp and glass so the day that a 2k dev watch this video or a 2k dev nerf a the zigzag production. the side to side and make them more prone to being ripped or make them lose super a lot of stamina the day that it happens is the day that you feel me this game becomes better more people watch it everybody get more viewers it's just like yo seeing cheese and manipulation just make people go away from the game bro i'm just telling y'all facts now listen this is me showing y'all going against cheese imagine the random occasional people who just get on the game and they gotta play against that they not stopping that they not beating that what they're gonna do is rage and quit they're gonna say bump 2k i'm not playing it no more and it's a gg facts or not nah? is that facts or not nah? but y'all said y'all want stage gameplay y'all want me in the stage but look look what they got me going against in the stage this is supposed to be the most comp venue like y'all know this a blowout y'all know this a blowout like is it even if it, is it even worth me this is why i don't even want to i don't even give you guys gameplay of such sort of this like it's just like look what is this what is this bro look nobody even playing defense wide open green but yeah bro so the whole purpose like i was saying in conclusion of this video is i'm trying to say that i knew i knew before this game dropped because it's every year every year shooting archetypes dominate the game because of the contested which i think is about to i think we're about to get pat six if i'm not mistaken we're about to get pat six and 
Pat Six might fix this where people are, you feel me? Um, Pat Six might fix this where people are like shooting in people's faces, shooting contested dumb shots. Like the game needs to reward people who shoot great shots because for some reason, like what what my stretch is like, all the super completely open shots, most of them don't drop. But when it's a contested dumb shot, it's like they all drop. It's like you shooting contested increases your chance to get a green light if you got a certain jumper. I don't know if it's just me, but like I was saying, bro, like I said, no diss to any player who has a stretch big or a pure sharpshooter. It is not your fault. You are a genius. You are smart for manipulating 2K. Like, it's not your fault, bro. I can't blame you, bro. You are smart for making that build and getting on the court and zigzagging and cheesing because 2K let you do it. You feel me? So like, that's why I said I, I would never diss a player. But the developers just need to fix it. But y'all see, look, look at that green right there. Like, I could just walk backwards and just pull that 12-0. This, this what y'all want to see? I know y'all don't want to see this, bro. That's why I always upload comp for y'all, bro. And y'all see the examples of when we get comp. Y'all just saw that comp game right there on the previous the previous gameplay but look what it took two shooters and a glass cleaner but this issue is not only in the park though that's the thing there are pro-am teams that don't need a playmaker like is people like not understanding this like if you think about the nba look at the nba bro do you see clay thompson zig do anybody zigzag in real life no that's getting ripped do you see clay thompson playing point guard do you see Kyle Culver playing point guard? Like, do you see a pure sharpshooter? Matter of fact, do you see Kevin Knight? That's, <laughs> that's a way better example. Do you see Kevin Love playing point guard? Do you see any stretch big, a big man who can shoot really running the one coming up the court zigzagging behind screens? Do you see that? No, bro. So I try to upload this before Pat 6. We getting Pat 6 soon. So you feel me? Make sure y'all share this with Mike Wang and my boy Hooping on Twitter, like, so they can actually see, like, they don't get to see the actual cheese and manipulation. They don't know what people are doing. They don't get to see people using two centers on twos or three centers pulling up in a park, bro. It's just like, it just shouldn't be, that's all. I mean, I'm not telling you, like I said, I'm not saying that it's unbeatable, but I'm just saying it's a bailout to pull up with that. And... I'm tired of being able to get ripped as a playmaker. Look, why is that so easy to rip versus somebody zigzag? You feel me? But I rest my case, bruh. Y'all tell me in the comment section in the intro, was them shots contested or not contested? And is it real or is it fake? And is that messing up the game? I'm up, bruh. Yeah.